Hey, this is Mr. Hansen. We're going to look at uh, parallel lines and some proofs of angles when you have a pair of parallel lines and a transversal cutting through them. So our diagram shows line L and line M and then a transversal and we're concerned with angle A and angle B and we want to figure out if angle A is congruent to angle B. So one way to do this is to, I'm writing a little bit of a proof here, our first statement is that L is parallel to M, and that's given to us. Um, given because it's given right here, and also we have these little triangles right here that, sh that, that say that L and M are parallel. Okay, with that much information, we can say a translate L onto M. So what we're going to do is we're going to take L right here and we're going to move it in the same distance and same direction until it's right on top of M just like that and the reason we can say that this works is is because the two lines are parallel you couldn't translate two lines that aren't parallel think of maybe this line and, and that line you wouldn't be able to translate this segment onto that one but since they are parallel you can translate one right onto the to the other, it's just sliding it right down. Um, and so uh, the reason, uh, because you have parallel lines. Okay, now that we've translated L on to M, you can see that A and B are interchangeable. They are the same exact, uh, um, same exact angle, or they would be congruent to each other. Uh, that transformation just puts one right on top of the other to prove that the two angles are congruent. So you, you place one angle on top of the other, place an angle. And we already did that in number two, really. So it just sort of proves that the, the two angles are congruent. And this doesn't even require a proof. This is more of a postulate. It's more of a common sense rule. Just slide that green line down right there, and A comes to B. Now the name for this angle relationship is corresponding angles. So we've got A and B there. Let's, uh, let's do some other corresponding angles. Let's go R and T. They would slide down to the same position. And let's go X and Y. They would slide down to the same position. Let's go, uh, let's go L, no, we already did L. Let's do uh, C and D. So C and D would also be corresponding angles. So corresponding angles are angles that, uh, that maintain the same position when you have two, a pair of lines and a transversal cutting through them. If that pair of lines happens to be parallel, then the corresponding angles are congruent. Okay, let's take a look at uh, a little different situation. Um, this time we've got A and B. And let's go C right there. A, B, and C. These lines are parallel. And we want to prove that A, I'm sorry, that C and B are congruent. So prove angle C is congruent to angle B. Okay. Well, and let's put a D right in here. That might help us too. Okay, so let's see if we can set something up here. First of all, let's write L and M. L is parallel to M. This is my given. This is my given. If we can see it up there, I should have written it in there, but L is parallel to M. Second, if we know L and M are parallel, then we can say C and D are congruent because they're corresponding angles. So angle C is congruent to angle D. That means they have the same measure. They are corresponding angles, so uh, we're going to write corresponding angles postulate. Okay, let's talk about D and B for a minute. You can see that they're vertical angles, so angle D is congruent to angle B. Vertical angles, uh, and that's a theorem. You might remember proving that one vertical angles theorem and then let's use some substitution if if c is congruent to d 
here, and B is congruent to B there, then C has to be congruent to B. So, uh-oh. Angle C is congruent to angle B. And the reason is, and let's make that a large B, substitution. Substitution. And we've just proven the uh, alternate exterior angles theorem. So B and C, and I should do these in caps, um, I should keep it consistent. B and C are alternate exterior angles because they're on the outside and they alternate from the left to the right side of the transversal. And alternate exterior angles will always be congruent. This is your challenge. I've got to do it in the right kind of pen here. This is your challenge. We have angle X, we have angle Y, and we have angle Z. Could you prove that angle X is congruent to angle Z? Could you prove that if you knew those two lines were parallel? I'm sorry, X is a uh, congruent to angle Y. And the name that we give these two are alternate interior angles. So prove X and Y are going to be congruent. Thank you.